Hey guys, what's up and a welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to remake the poster of the Senchi and the Ten Rings, the upcoming movie of Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, let's get started. So guys, at the very first, I bring my model into the Photoshop and then make its cut out. At the next, I bring the background in the Photoshop and then crop it so that it will suit well with the model. Then I place my model there. Now it is the time to match the lights of the whole photograph and I did it with the help of brightness, contrast and curves. Then I tried to match the color tones of the model with that of the background and it took me a bit more time but yeah it looked very well. Now I draw some shadows over the ground to make it more realistic and uh, dynamic. And a time come when I was just uh, really stuck up with all these things and uh, I just have no idea what to do next. But then I add some primary shadows over our hero uh, thinking a while what uh, I'll do next. I also add some haze over one side of the photograph to give it more environment. Now there it comes the most relaxing part, adding the highlights over the model. And it took me a considerable time but I make sure to do it as perfect as I can. Yeah, it looked pretty well I haven't decided so but yeah it worked so well after making the hard highlights I started drawing some soft highlights too over the model and yeah it looks pretty well too some more shadows and uh, yep I'm done I decided firmly that previous haze is not enough so I added some more haze around some areas uh, to give more distance to the whole artwork uh, and uh, some other stuff Now my friends, I am very sure that you will gonna be surprised at what is gonna be next. I provide a very beautiful color grade to the whole artwork only with the help of curves and I am very serious. Really. There must be a color point in the picture. So I decided that uh, it will be the stick end that will be lit up uh, and with red color because our superhero is wearing a red uh, coat or uh, I know I don't know but yeah it looked pretty well now I make the eyeballs of the model glow it looked cool man yeah isn't it now I added a beautiful beautiful field blur over the whole image I am very serious that I added it on every single point and at the last while giving the whole artwork a very beautiful camera raw filter I move every slider that I probably can and here we are the artwork is ready 